I'm Scott Schober. We're here at the Blue Vector Hospitality Suite, Black Hat 2021. We're here with Banks, and we're talking about what keeps us up at night, what people's cyber fears are. Banks, what's your cyber fear? What keeps you up at night? I think one of the things that keeps me up at night is having a lot of accounts on the web. Um, you have like Facebook accounts and Gmail accounts, and so well, that's one of those things. Like, it's one of my passwords going to get compromised. Uh, so every day, I'm trying to like close accounts and have a uh, trying to get off the grid. <laughs> what keeps you up at night, Aaron? The main concern I have is that the people who are creating the policy uh, regarding everything that has to do with cyber, basic either embedded systems or information systems or even larger systems, uh, they don't necessarily understand what the systems are, what they do. And what's your cybersecurity fear, Steve? Uh, the, the people that think, oh, I don't need security. <laughs> security is just a burden that, uh, that, that gets in the way of everything, and you have to convince them, like, no, this is important. The biggest issue that we're going to face is uh, World War III on the internet, basically, right? Like, countries attacking each other's country through the internet, like disabling pipelines and stuff like that. My fear is the people, the organizations, and the communities that don't know what they don't know. How many smaller public school systems or small healthcare facilities maybe have somebody's cousin that's really good at fixing computers running their servers and their email system, their client databases, their FERPA data, their HIPAA data, and they don't have the right protections in place? My cybersecurity fear um, is honestly the people. The people that, that work on in any sort of capacity with computers, with a network, and that's a soft spot, right? That's what keeps me up at night is uh, that you, if, if you're wrong once, you lose all authority. Uh, you have to be right 100% of the time, so you cannot make one mistake. Hey, what keeps me up at night? Hey, the fact of the matter is, is that cyber criminals are not sleeping, and you know uh, that keeps me up at night. And at the end of the day, though, you know, Blue Vector, we feel really strongly that we have the capability to identify the threats that others can, and uh, you know, hopefully one day I can sleep better. The current supply chain issues we have going on, uh, the, the the amount of work that the SEC and the NTI has for rip and replace issues, and all the current infrastructure that we have pertaining to bad supply chain. What keeps you up at night? What's your cybersecurity fear? The company getting hacked. So my biggest cyber fear is about our next generation. And uh, my concern is that they live such public lives that we're not going to have um, enough people who can um, work for certain government agencies that need to have um, a smaller footprint. Um, probably being the victim of a phishing scam or like email, you know. Yeah. I am wor somewhat worried that we'll have these devices but not be able to protect them fully. Um, and some of these devices, like health devices, you know, self-driving cars, maybe even like home like cameras, alarm systems, if those get compromised, it could be really bad for the user. It may be even like life-threatening. I absolutely cannot stand getting woken up in the middle of the night, getting that phone call that you've been hacked. It's my biggest fear. My intrusion detection system wakes me up every time. It's terrible. You know, our cyber fear is really just ransomware and zero-day malware. We have to stop it. That's, that's what's causing the most pain, and that's what keeps me up at night. I've just started my own crypto mining business. My biggest fear is that someone is going to steal my crypto wallet. What keeps Bob up at night? Probably the fact that people can take over, if you click on the wrong link, you lose all your accounts. That's a big one that I've been worrying about. My biggest cyber fear is a lot of government agencies still using legacy software, legacy operating systems. My company works with several uh, different government agencies, and the fact that I have to look and see what server uh, operating systems they're running is extremely scary. My biggest fear for the customers that I work with is some type of catastrophic event that takes down critical infrastructure. One of my cyber fears is impersonation, so someone impersonating me. What's your cybersecurity fear? Uh, all of our clients getting compromised. I guess my cyber fear would be stupid users doing stupid things. Most common passwords are spring 2020, 
um, that rotates every year, but we keep changing it to the same pattern. It's very easy to figure out. Yeah, I'm really worried about our industry as a whole. Um, there is a lot of um, gaps. We call it gaps, but there's a lot of people out there that really have a lot of skills, and they're being held back from getting a lot of positions that we desperately need. You, who are the unsung cyber heroes, who toil in anonymity to keep this world safe from evil people, and there are too many to enumerate. I don't have to tell you. I want to just say, on behalf of everyone, thank you for what you do and who you are, and most importantly, why you do it. And I know firsthand, because I've listened and learned from a lot of you, that you serve in silence and you serve with humility. And those are the best qualities of what it means to be a human being. Here, here. So what keeps Gary Berman up at night? My cyber uh, fear is that I'm going to be known as this man dressed like this for the rest of my life. Thank you, Captain Underpants.